All right, you know the VA healthcare system is under fire, particularly after CNN revealed that in Phoenix, the VA hospital had two separate lists of care, and it cost many veterans their lives, according to those who are willing to talk to CNN. Well, now we have just learned that the Department of Veteran Affairs is announcing that a acting, a new acting director for the Phoenix VA healthcare system has been named and will oversee the delivery of health care to some 85,000 veterans there and all this as a result of a CNN investigation and now an ongoing very big investigation in, involving the veterans affairs in fact there will be a hearing this week next week coming up before US Congress so the investigation into whether veterans died while waiting for medical care at not just the Phoenix VA hospital but other VA hospitals now is growing wider. In fact, an employee at a Wyoming clinic of the Department of Veterans Affairs has been placed on administrative leave now. And allegations have surfaced that scheduling clerks at the VA hospital in San Antonio may have cooked the books to cover up long wait lines. Well, embattled VA Secretary Eric Shinseki he is expected to testify before a Senate committee on Thursday amid growing calls for his resignation now. For a closer look, retired Air Force Captain Darren Selnick joins us now uh, via Skype from Oceanside, California. He is Senior Veterans Affairs Advisor, uh, Concerned America, uh, Veterans for America. Uh, good to see you. So you just heard our new information that we just received, a new acting director for the Phoenix VA. Is that a start in your view? Well, it certainly is a start, and thanks for having me on your show. Um, and thanks, CNN, for all the great work. You guys have really blown this wide open, and we really needed it. it it's a start, um, obviously a temporary person, um, but they, they, should have, they should have put on administrative leave the Sharon Hellman's boss at Phoenix, the vision director. Uh, she's got to be involved in, in, in somehow. So, yeah, you need a whole new team there, and hopefully that team is a good team. But it's just a start, uh, mm -hmm. the VHA under Secretary uh, Dr. Petzl, you know, he's already announced his, his uh, retirement. That should be effective immediately as, as well. We need new leadership and new blood and some reform in this organization. So you are making a direct connection between these reported incidents, whether it be at the Phoenix VA and now apparently at the other San Antonio uh, and other VAs that I just mentioned. You're making a direct connection between um, these incidents and the Secretary Shinseki? No, not with not with Shinseki, but there is a, all a VHA leadership. Now, I, I served under three secretaries, and the secretary delegates to the undersecretary to run the health administration. So he, he's the guy who needs to take responsibility. He may not have known anything, but he, he should have been more on the ball. He should know something. The vision director should have been known something. Mm -hmm. A lot of people should have known something. That's why this is an investigation. We'll see as the chips fall and the emails come to light and the whistleblowers exactly knew what. But when the ship's rotten and veterans are dying from friendly fire, the delayed health care, someone needs to be held accountable, and we have not been holding anyone accountable. Had, no one's been fired. Had you and your organization heard of a number of complaints from veterans who have said that they were being denied medical care, that they were put on phony lists, that their wait times were long. Had you heard directly from any veterans to substantiate these most recent claims that were, you know, revealed by CNN, people who uh, shared their stories with CNN and now these other installations as well that are under investigation? Well, yes. Not only have I personally know veterans that this has happened to, specifically in West Los Angeles, a veteran of mine uh, had this happen to him. He didn't get his, his uh, special care, his... Uh, prostate uh, uh, surgery he was supposed to get, and he collapsed and almost died, and then they found advanced cancer. Then but what the happened GAO to the complaints? What, what was your discovery, that the complaints were made and no one was addressing them, or the complaints didn't make it high enough up the food chain, so to speak, with the VA? Well, the complaints have a tendency to go into the VA black hole. Now, the GAO's done investigations and found this out, uh, fudging wait times, uh, you guys have done investigations. It's happened like five or six places where veterans have died because of long wait times and covering up and fudging of those wait times so that they meet their 14-day category. Uh, it's been known for a couple of years. VA administrators have testified in front of Congress in 2012 on this. 
So everyone's known it, but until Dr. Foote came out and actually explained detail by detail the whistleblower, a lot of people didn't, didn't pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. All right, Captain Darren Selnick, thank you so much again. Uh, hearings beginning next week, U.S. Congress involving VA Secretary uh, Shinseki and others. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, the witness account.